Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. <clears throat> this is me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. <clears throat> it is indeed a choice to rejoice. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. <clears throat> trying to get this throat clear, this pollen, this season has just really been just unreal. Um, but thank you so much <clears throat> for joining me on today. <clears throat> Again, excuse me, these allergies. But we bless the Lord for being here. This is a day that the Lord has made. Yes. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We are here <clears throat> every Monday through Friday sharing the good news gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, I want to thank you for taking out the time to joining us, connecting with us, seeing what the Lord is doing in this ministry on this platform. We're super, super, super excited about the opportunity every time to come to you and share what the Lord is sharing with us. So we bless the Lord. Uh, I thank God for all of the testimonies. I thank you for your support. I thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, all of you that are sharing my content, oh my goodness. God bless you so much for helping us spread the good news gospel message of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, so thank you so much. And those of you that are liking, that are sharing your comments, that are reaching out to me for prayer, um, we just bless the Lord for you. Just want to remind you that Friday is our prayer day. Even though I pray on every video, um, prayer is the day that we've established for the day of prayer. And that's where we come together and we, we agree with you with the word of faith that God would do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask, think or desire. Um, just want to share a couple of things with you. My shirt that I'm wearing have an amazing day. It is available at I Speak Tees. That's right. It is available today. Just go right over to their website. Um, this is a color that I selected for today, but it is um, available in colors of your choice. And they will let you know whenever you place your order if the color that you're requesting is available. Um, I love the, the boldness of the yellow gold on here. So I wanted to, to share that with you on today. Uh, my book is available uh, at as well don't have a copyright at hand but um believers believe and believers receive it's available um on amazon it will bless your entire life i had an opportunity over the week the earlier part of the week to go and visit with one of the mothers uh from the ministry um here in fayetteville that i attended for many 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 years um she's just always been so significant in my life dear to my heart a prayer warrior uh, has always loved on me. Um, and so I went to visit her and I shared my book with her as a gift. And she was just so elated um, that I had written a book. She says, oh, I have something to sit at home and read. And she just shared how, you know, she was just proud of me continuing with my walk with God. And it's something whenever someone can watch you uh, over 30, probably going into 40 years now, and, and, and still honor who you are. Um, and I wasn't going that for, there for that. I was going to love on her. But I tell you what, I walked out of there having an amazing day because she just really encouraged my heart so, so, so very much. So I want to send a huge shout out to Mother um, El Zoria um, um, Royal. Um, and she's just been a tremendous blessing, not only in my life, but to all of the FDEC family. They've now changed their church name, I believe. But those of you that remember me from being there, it was in FDEC. FDEC is the place to be. Um, and I, I tell you, I served in that ministry many years. I loved the experience, loved the Lord growing me up there. And so now we are on this platform doing it. And she asked me that. She said, what do you do with your day? And I shared with her that I have my, my ministry here, my uh, YouTube ministry, virtual ministry. And she was just elated. Um, so just want to send out some more love to her and to my good friend, um, Faith um, Royal. Uh, Lord knows we go back a long way. Um, thank you so much for your inspiration, for your encouragement, uh, for my tremendous birthday gift. Thank you so much. 
Also, I want to say that my children know that I have um, a special, um, I, I have a special designer that I love and I really, really, really wanted this tea kettle for my birthday um, by one of my favorite designers and um, they sent it to me prior to my birthday and I'm telling you, I am just so elated to have this. Um, now this is available with the whistleblower um, and I think it's a different topper, but this is the one that I had selected and this is the one that I wanted. Um, so thank you all to my children for blessing me with one of my favorite gifts. Um, one of them said, Mom, are you going to use it? And I said, I don't know. It's so beautiful. It just may be a display item. Um, so thank you so much for that. Um, they they not only bless me with, with material things, um, but they bless me financially as well. Um, but I just wanted to share that because I just love um, that country checkerboard print. Um, so I'm going to work on getting the entire collection. So thank you so much. Listen, I also wanted to say the Bible says to give honor to whom honor is due. Um, and whatever I do, I'm going to always tie scripture in it. This week, we had a young lady um, that is in our ministry. She came to us uh, probably maybe 10 or so years ago, um, just devastated, um, just trying to seek direction for life. And for many years, she just said she would just come and just sit in the ministry, wasn't asking to do anything, wasn't asking to be, um, you know, up in the front doing anything. And so one day she called and said, can I come by the office and talk with you and Apostle Chris? And she began to share her story. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get her on real soon. And we're going to sit down and chat because she has some information to share. Um, but she began to share her story and she shared how that she just kind of bottomed out, hit rock bottom. And when she came to KCM, she said it was a non-judgment zone for me. And this is where she decided to settle in um, and just move forward in the things of God. And so this week, I was just so blessed because my birthday was, was like on the 2nd. And I think maybe hers was on the 5th. Don't quote me on that date, but um, I think hers was maybe around that time. And I saw, it just blessed me. I just saw how she was just celebrating her own self. Oh, that's a message within itself. She was just celebrating her own life she planned her own birthday gathering um she doesn't have a large circle of friends but she has a sure circle of friends and they went out and they just celebrated her and you know that's a principle that we teach you got to learn to celebrate yourself where you are doesn't matter what you're going through what you've been through and she just said you know and i noticed that every year she gets herself all dolled up all dressed up and she just you know, in honoring God, because I saw her live as well. And she said, whatever I do, I'm going to always give glory to God because I know where he brought me from. And I just want to say to to our very own minister, um, Amanda Black, um, I am just godly proud of you taking that one, one concept, not waiting for someone else to celebrate you, but to appreciate what God has done in your life. And that's her story. It's not even about Amanda. It's about what God has done in her life through all of her tests, through all of her trials, through all of her failures, her falling down, getting back up again. One thing that she says is that I never lost trust in God. And I'm telling you, if you ever hear this woman of God minister or you ever hear her pray, you will know that she has had an encounter with God. You will know that she has a relationship with God. Yes, she go through things, but I'm telling you, you can tell when she relaxes in her prayers. In fact, she's going to be one of the, the conference speakers or prayer warriors for the I Worship conference that's coming up. Um, April 29th through May 2nd at the Sheraton Hotel Convention Center in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're going to be a part of that platform as well. That's right. I Worship is having their conference um, April 29th through May 2nd, and that's going to take place um, at the Sheraton Conference Center, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, it's not too late to purchase your virtual tickets, um, so go ahead over to the I Worship um, page and you'll be able to log on and get your virtual tickets and get whatever information that is available there. Um, our sister Tamara Lewis, brother um, Stephen Lewis, um, are doing a tremendous job as well as Prophetess Alexis Lewis. So they're doing some tremendous things there. 
Um, and as I was saying, they have asked Minister Amanda, Amanda Black to be one of the uh, platform guests. I'm not exactly sure what she's going to be doing, but I do know this, that she will be praying at some point during that conference because that mantle, that mandate, that assignment is on her life and she handles her assignment well. She handles it well. Um, so I just wanted to say that that just really blessed me to see her being a young woman of God, um, going through all that she's been through, but her faith has remained strong in God. She was saying that just as much sin as she had in her life, that's as much God as she uh, has in her life. And that really blessed me um, to see the weightiness of God in her life. And, you know, my, my oldest daughter and I were talking yesterday, uh, Melissa, um, she's such a sweetheart. Uh, she and her husband had me down uh, on last week. Um, and I just had such a wonderful time um, with them seeing um, how they had done their gardening. And, you know, it, it just blesses you when you see your children just doing well. Um, so I celebrate the Lord for what the Lord is doing in her, Shelby, and Makali's life um, as well. Makali's going to be here with us real soon. So we're super, super, super excited about that. But Melissa and I um, were talking uh, yesterday, and we were talking about um, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is, a, it is eternal life. And we were talking about, um, because we understand that scripture, we understand grace, um, it does still not allow us the opportunity or nor does it give us the license to practice sin. The wages of sin is still death. Um, and the gift of God is eternal life. And I tell you, Melissa shared this with me on yesterday. I said, girl, you know, this is a preacher's message right here. But she said, mom, she said, one thing that people don't realize is that you don't know where the death process start in your sin. Did, did y'all hear that? You don't know where the death process starts in your sin. And and and, and those areas that you're functioning in, you, you don't even know. It, it, a death process has started. And until you go back to God and get that thing right, he restores you, he renews you, he brings you back into fellowship, you're operating with no power. And I begin to share with her, you, I said, you know, I said, that just brings me back to what I've been praying on this week. Um, there have been times that I've fallen out of God. And I'm telling you, it, it took a long time for me to get back in my rightful place and my rightful position because something died on the inside. I became disconnected from God. I began to do my own will. And God, yes, the, the Bible says gifts and callings are without repentance. I was able to function, but I was functioning, functioning at a very, very extremely low and dangerous capacity because God's hand had lifted off of my life. And I want to encourage you today, the wages, what are you paying for your sin? What are you paying for that? There is an accountability. You know, in our ministry, we, we teach faith, we teach prosperity, but we teach about sin. So when you disconnect from God, the Bible says in Revelation, he said, I, I have somewhat against you. you. You lost your first love. So we have to go back to God for God to restore us, for him to redeem us, for him to renew us. And so when we had that conversation on yesterday, that thing just blessed my life to hear that level of word activated in her life because sometimes we take the word of God and we don't rightly divide the word of truth. We don't rightly divide the word of God. We think the word of God is a buffet. We pick and choose what we want. We, you know, we eat this today because this, this is applicable to us today. No, I believe it was Jeremiah said, take the whole book and eat it. He said, it may be bitter, but when it gets in the belly, it becomes sweet. The word of God teaches us how to walk upright. The word of God teaches us how to reverence and honor God. And I believe that a lot of times we've just gotten away from the honor of God because we're so hyped on this grace. It's, yes, grace is there. It, it, God extends grace. But honey, you, you got to understand where grace and mercy meets because at one point, one cuts off and one steps in. And so we need to understand where we are with our walk with God. And don't just be so vicarious. Oh, well, he's going to he's gonna forgive me. No, the moment that you commit sin, 
you separate yourself from God. You do that. He doesn't separate himself from you because he's imputed righteousness on the inside of us. But you separate yourself from that vein of righteousness and you cause whatever consequences there are to that sin to be invoked upon your life. Oh, yes, there is a consequence to your sin. There is a consequence to our sin action. It may not reflect today. It may not even reflect next week or next month. But I promise you, when you have that that sin attached to your life, there is a penalty that you're going to pay. There's a consequence. And the sad thing is, sometimes whenever we begin to receive the sin harvest, we, we become weary and faint. And we feel like, you know, God has turned his back. No, you turned your back on God. So I want to remind you on the day that the wages of sin is still death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Won't you choose eternal life on the day? Father, I thank you for every person that is under the sound of my voice. I thank you, Lord, because your word clearly tells us that the wages of sin is still death, but the gift of God, it is eternal life. And Lord, let us choose eternal life on the day. Let us choose to walk upright before you before you. Let us choose, Lord God, to have reverential fear. Let us choose to honor you. Let us choose to bless you. Let us choose, Lord God, to be in communion and fellowship with you. So, Father, I thank you that if there's a person under the sound of my voice that is not saved, I do ask that you wash them in your blood and fill them with your love. Give them a heart and a mind to serve you all the days of their life. Now, Father, be magnified, be glorified, I thank you that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, it is acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer, let all of God's people say amen. Well, you already know I am Apostle Esther Sanctious. Super excited to be with you every Monday through Friday, sharing in the good news gospel message of the Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to thank all of my subscribers. Thank all of you that are sharing and liking my content. If you are a subscriber, the um, added benefit to subscribing is once my content is uplo uploaded, um, you know that it's viewable and it is shareable. So I want to thank all of you that are sharing my content. Share this content today. It's a culmination of all that we do on this channel because on this channel, we encourage, we inspire, we motivate. Yes, I tell my story, but then I like to share telling uh, share in sharing someone else's story as well, especially when they've inspired and they blessed my life. Um, so thank you so much uh, for connecting with our YouTube community, our YouTube family. Just want to remind you that my shirt is available. Have an amazing day. That's my signature for this channel, uh, for this content. Those of you that have already ordered your t-shirts, thank you so much. Um, and just go ahead over to um, I Worship Ministries to their website and you can get your your shirt on today i want you to have an amazing day we'll be back on tomorrow with more good news gospel of the lord jesus christ it is so good to be back with you thank all of you that's right let me take a moment thank all of you that reached out to me um for my birthday whether it was um on facebook or youtube or you messaged me you cashed at me um you just blessed my life Thank you so much for blessing my life. It is a blessing to be a blessing. Um, so I, I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to uh, to to say thank you. Um, it was a tremendous birthday. I thank God for all that he's doing in and through my life because I love him more today than I did on yesterday. Well, I got to get out of here. Have an amazing day. Know that Apostle Chris and I love you with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for connecting with us as we connect with the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.